So today we're going to look at the market, the market cap, Bitcoin, a few altcoins, my ICO sheet, new coins that we're looking at, look at some coins that we've already covered and kind of see where we're at. Then we're going to check out the news. I want to start covering news more and more because the market's not really moving. ICOs, some of them are doing okay. Most of them aren't. But I want to track the FUD, what's going on, see if it's relevant, see if it's worth actually caring about. And that's something I'm going to be doing a little bit more lately. So ICO sheet and news. Here we go. Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. First, before I begin, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button below. So first, let's check out the market. We're under 400 billion again. How many people are getting tired of this? I know I am. <laughs> That's for sure. So we did have some FUD come in. We will talk about that later in news. Just yesterday we were over and we had a huge dip. But I think we're pretty much getting used to it. 2018 has not been kind to us so far. We No one knows what the future holds. I'm very positive about it though. So let's check out some more altcoins. What are doing well? So Bitcoin is down under 10,000. Not a surprise. Genesis Vision, we all know about that. Looks like we have some new coins we have not seen here for a while. KuCoin shares is getting destroyed. This one got up to like 1.9 billion. Let's check out Dragon Chain. Oof, Dragon Chain is getting destroyed. I might have to buy some more of those. Blockport, it's still above ICO price and it's still doing bad. What isn't? Axpire, I'm afraid to look at this one. Ooh, Axpire, under 10. I might have to buy some of these, just a dollar cost average. Cargo X, this one's almost ICO price. I don't know, there's just so much stuff going on. Let's check out credits actually. This one, I wanna talk about this one a little bit later. Let's go to my ICO sheet. So here's my ICO sheet, and this is what we've already covered. Like I said, we have WAN chain. We didn't cover these, but I added these to kind of give you an idea of the scores we're looking at. So credits, this is one we did cover. Block poor, these both got a 90%. We didn't cover really too much TFUs, but I did chart it. We have Hurify, Current, I just made a video about that. We Power, I did a video and I did chart this. On the other side, so I don't have many upcoming ICOs. I do have a all these in yellows, I will be charting soon as possible. And in my Discord, come in there, talk to me, tell me what ICOs you want me to chart, and I will gladly check them out and decide if they're worth putting on here. I have a, a team of a few people where we're gonna add as many as possible to give you an idea of what we're looking at. One to look at is credits. This one's actually been doing well in terms of every, every other ICO. So credits was, I believe, 16 around 16 cents per token. And this updates in real time to coin market cap. So we're looking at 56 cents. So our multiplier right now is 3.5, I believe. So if you look at these, 0x is still destroying. So if you got in this at ICO, good job. Dragon Chain, since it's getting so low, it doesn't look as good. Still, Bounty 0x, this one got up to like times 30, and now it's at times 4. We got Wee Powers actually under ICO price and Dether or Dether, whatever, is getting owned. So if you can see, there's some that show NA, and that is because they're not on Coin Market Cap yet. So when they get on, it will automatically update this to kind of give you an idea what we're looking at. And then multiplier will automatically update and the current price, and it does a little formula between the ICO price and the current price. So now let's talk a little bit about credits. I gave this one a pretty good score based on the metrics, their idea and all this fun stuff. Now there's some FUD going on around here. We got Ivan on tech. If you check out his video, he shows a lot, well not a lot, some red flags that came with this project. I still believe they have a good opportunity to do well. Supposedly they addressed this. I haven't checked that out. They really need to figure something out because he really shows that is what they did was super amateur. It's actually embarrassing. Next, we have Superman, and as you can see by the title, they're thinking anything that Superman basically talks about, is it a bad coin? I mean, 
you can check this out. I still talk to Superman every now and then. I'm in his group. I don't really follow him as much, and I have my own little group I talk to, but this one is getting... This gets pretty intense. <laughs> check it out. So there is some FUD going on there. So next for news, we have Bitcoin just tanked below $10,000 after the SEC says crypto exchanges must register with agency. So the SEC said in a statement Wednesday that online platforms trading digital assets that are considered securities need to register with the agency. And then immediately after, Bitcoin drops to $10,000. The article says that this crackdown is expected to be directed to altcoins rather than Bitcoins. And they also have a clear definition of security in case you weren't familiar with that. So they want to see if it follows the Howey test, which comes from the 1946 U.S. Supreme Court case. The ruling says a security involves the investment of money in a common enterprise in which the investor inspects expects profit primarily from others efforts so the article also discusses the binance potential fishing problem I, we're going to talk a little bit about that later the article also discusses the binance potential fishing problem so there's a little bit of fud there but it turns out supposedly that binance that they basically totally covered what happened so as you can see, this is the CEO of Binance. It says Binance has reversed all irregular trades. All deposits, trading withdrawals are resumed. Basically, they suspended all of them. Right when this happened, everything stopped. They couldn't take any money out. So they will write a more detailed account of what happened shortly. Interestingly, the hackers lost coins during this attempt. And they will donate this to a Binance charity. So basically, the hackers basically got all this coin from a phishing scam which you can see below kind of showing you the different binances which you have to be careful to go to the right binance bought a bunch of coin i forgot what it's called which one they bought i think it was a via i'm not sure bought a bunch and they tried to withdraw well the withdrawal was suspended and binance was able to see which accounts were the hackers accounts and basically said well i'm gonna take your coins <laughs> So they took the coins. So not only did the hackers not succeed in hacking and getting funds from this phishing scam, they lost coins that they previously held. I love that. Binance, you're awesome. Good job. Way to counter what happened. So we had a little FUD here with the combo of the SEC and Binance, but Binance wasn't really FUD because look at how they handled it. Great idea. Genius, in my opinion. So next news we have is the CEO of a ripple reveals that this is what is needed for crypto to succeed and he's talking about regulations so he basically goes on to say i think it's incredibly important for the whole industry to recognize that we need to work with regulators we have to work with the system he's been fond of saying that block that blockchain revolution is going to happen within the system it's not going to happen from outside the system maybe that's why he tries to say his is all centralized blah 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 we know we don't really trust this guy too much because everybody's like ripple is so bad I mean, it's centralized, whatever. So he goes on to also say that there are some in the Bitcoin community who are really advocating the kind of like damn the banks or damn the governments. But for crypto to succeed, he thinks that we need both. What are your opinions on that? I think we do need the government, to be honest. Banks, maybe to be super successful, I do think we need the banks. So he, then he goes on to say every single financial transaction has a regulated endpoint. So when regulators see that and they understand that crypto is doing that, they will be much more success and less FUD. They will be on our side trying to push it. And there could be some huge success here. <laughs> what do you think about that? So then he goes on to say he thinks it is incredibly important for the world to understand these concerns around digital assets. Not all assets are created the same and we should understand the differences. So basically, the CEO of Ripple is claiming the future of crypto and blockchain must be regulated despite Bitcoin's enthusiasts advocating against it. I'm on the fence on this one. So I'm not really sure if this is FUD and I somewhat do agree with him, especially with ICOs. Check out the ICOs. They're just coming out of the woodworks. Hundreds of ICOs. Some of them have no use case for blockchain or very minimal and they're trying to get millions and millions of dollars. Just ridiculous. We talk about this all the time. I'm sure you guys agree with that part at least. Anyways, that's my video. Check out my ICO sheet. Come to my Discord. I need more people for this so that we make it as great as possible. I would love the help, guys. Come to my Discord. Message me. Let me know if you 
are interested in helping, I would appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.